Hey guys, we're back here with Acorn Graphics. I'm going to show you how to do a wet install for your window decals. What you're going to need is you're going to need a squeegee, which came in the box with you with the package we sent. Um, some masking tape, any generic tape will work just fine. Clean, dry, lint free cloths or paper towels. Uh, microfiber works as well. Ammonia free glass cleaner and a solution of 95% water to 5% dish soap. And of course your decals. So first thing you want to do, make sure you have everything handy, uh, somewhere you can reach it. Um, take your decals, separate them. They're going to want to roll up on you, so fix that. I'm going to go over it once with the squeegee. Place it down on a nice, smooth, flat, clean surface. Just take your squeegee and you're just going to go over, starting from the center of the decal towards the edges. What this is going to do is, like I said, it's going to help flatten the decal out and it's also going to help the vinyl adhere to the pre mat layer and release off of the release liner. So once you've got that done, you're ready to throw it up on the window. All right, next step, you want to make sure the window is nice and clean as well as the area around it. So again, ammonia-free glass cleaner. And uh, now you're ready for install. What you're gonna do, you're gonna hold it up here. You can get somebody to help you if you need to. We're gonna start peeling back the pre-mask. vinyl should come with it. If the vinyl doesn't come with the pre-mask, take your squeegee, squeegee there, and then start peeling. Peel very slowly, make sure all the pieces are coming up off of the re release liner. There's a piece that doesn't, just take the squeegee. Squeegee it. And just keep working your way down. You want to be very careful that you don't touch the vinyl to anything, to itself, to the side of the vehicle. Alright, so now the release liner is off. You want to take your solution of 95% water, 5% dish soap, and spray the surface of the vinyl. Just a light mist will do. And grab your piece. Again, make sure not to touch it to anything. Um, you know, don't do this on a windy day. Spray the mist the window. Same solution, water and dish soap. You want to take decal. Lay it on them. So with the solution of water, you're able to move this decal around without it sticking. And you can get it positioned precisely and exactly how you want it. So just check all your corners. If you need to, lift it up. Look down. You want to make sure you don't have any bubbles like this in there. Make sure it's nice and flat all the way across. Now our decals are designed to have a 1 8 inch offset from the edge of the window. So the vinyl is 1 8 of an inch inside the window. Once you feel like you've got that in the position you want it in, you're going to take your squeegee and starting from the center of the decal, working from one half of the decal either way, you want to start squeegeeing that water out. You want to go really slow, 
short strokes. Work your way from top to bottom. You want to press firmly, but not too hard. Um, your squeegee can ruin the vinyl through this if you press too hard. Once you got a good section, you don't really have to hold the vinyl anymore. It's kind of adhered now. You're just going to keep working that solution out from behind the vinyl. Now I've got that half, and then you go to this other half. should be seeing that water solution coming out from the edges of the decal. You're not going to be able to get all of the water, but you want to try and get as much as possible out from underneath. Now you've got it on there, it's all lined up, good to go. It wouldn't hurt to go over it again one more time. Just make sure you get as much of that water out as you possibly can. And then you're gonna need to wait for this water to evaporate that's still left behind the decal. Um, that can take you know, a couple hours depending on the temperature and humidity outside. Test whether or not you've got all the water out. You're just going to peel back the corner, and if that vinyl still peels up with it, there's still a little bit of water left in there, so you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Most of the moisture should be out of there, and there may, may still be some left. And as you push your squeegee across, you kind of notice that this pre-mask changes colors. It's letting us know there's still a little bit of moisture in there. Um, you can carefully start peeling your decal. Just make sure you go really slow. If there's still a little bit of moisture under there, and it won't completely evaporate underneath the pre mask, but once we get it off, it'll dissipate pretty quick. You just want to watch the edges of the vinyl, make sure you're not peeling up any of the vinyl with the pre mask. Just go nice and slow. If you have an intricate design, like the trees, a lot of the branches will want to peel back. Just keep an eye on those. piece that came off with the pre-mess, that's the guide I was talking about. Um, those are going to peel off anyways. Um, 
and have another guide on this side that I'm going to peel off. So now that you have the pre-mask off, you just want to go around, check for any bubbles underneath the vinyl, um, dry off any excess water that's left. So if you have any bubbles, just kind of gently work them out with the squeegee. Don't have to press hard, just, just enough to push that water out from underneath the vinyl. your finger in some spots. And you're done. Peel off this guide that I have here. So there's still going to be a little bit of moisture underneath there. Um, it will dissipate over a couple hours. Uh, if there's any micro bubbles, little tiny bubbles, smaller than a quarter inch, those should disappear, disappear on their own as the sun kind of hits the spine all shrinks a little bit. Um, yeah, and you're done.